MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell goes from begging Jimmy Kimmel to begging Elon Musk while voters put a stop to Madison Cawthorn and Marjorie Taylor Greene loses it over people thinking she's unintelligent. Select all images with Madison Cawthorn's second term. Unemployed, back alley, dumpster, red light district, food court, bedroom videos, street camping, verify. We don't want one of them coming to our state. Waltz, I've been here all my life. You were born there. Have you? I was born here. I've never moved from here. I guess I lived in Las Vegas once for three months out of a van, if you want to count that. Oh, we'll count that. And not in the hipster Instagram influencer hashtag van life kind of way. It is pouring MAGA tears. Perjury trader Green is crying about how sane people perceive her. Mike Lindell attempts to explain the plot of the Terminator. Dinesh is whining about his film being leaked. And I cover the latest and stupid from Don Jr., Lauren Boebert, Dr. Oz, Mitch McConnell's House Party, a new bunker update from Alex, and more. Scarface's slow cousin tweeted, Yeah, we are. <laughs> I, I get that you'd love a fatherless world, but I promise that's where a bunch of the problems stem from, unfortunately. <laughs> it's science. <laughs> oh. Naturally, I replied, Gotta love a nose candy fueled, typo filled tweet about parental involvement from the guy who has to text through a staffer because he doesn't even have his own father's phone number. You know, they can do it now. You could put you could put words in my mouth and put it out there in the media saying I said something and I've never said it. You yep, follow me? Absolutely. And this is a uh, this is where stuff that we're getting to um if we put words in Mike's mouth they would not be as dumb as the words Mike puts in his own mouth. If we put an articulate sentence in the mouth of bargain bin Burt Reynolds, the entire world would know something was up. Margarine Taco Gristle tweeted, The greatest choice a woman can make is becoming a mother. Naturally, I replied, Says the mother who cheated on her husband with two personal trainers, chases teenagers, and gets frisky with Gates and Jones. Perjury Taylor Green is blaming the media because she said people believe that she is angry or crazy or unintelligent. Pro tip, if you don't want people to think you're angry, crazy, or unintelligent, don't taunt someone through their mail slot. Chase a teenager that recently lost his friends in a horrific shooting, post about Jewish space lasers and gazpacho police, or give town halls defending Satan statues, or constantly fire off wacko tweets filled with inaccuracies and typos. Here's Marjorie Trolldoll giving a pro-life talk to a group that is mostly dudes that are super interested in what she has to say. <laughs> This guy just going back and forth trying to see around her. And the, this guy's got like a makeshift fishing hat going on. And and the, the, the guy walking around like, let's just take a minute and look at this guy who's just using this time to work on a hangnail. He's, he's chewing, he's picking. And here is my absolute favorite moment. Choose to not have sex. You can always abstain. All four guys are howling when she says this. Watch again. They're all laughing. Even the girl is looking at them like, yeah, that's never going to happen. Okay, so the place goes under attack. Die hard style. Choose your fighter. Is it going to be hangnail guy, way too close dude looking to see if Marjorie has a spine, DIY fishing hat fella, man texting his Tinder date to get the morning after pill, or white guy with dreadlock man bun? Let me know in the comments. In history, where we're at right now, if, if you remember the movie, The Terminator, Brandon, right. remember that they, they beat the machines eventually. So what did the machines do? They took a time thing back to kick that, that way back then. <sighs> just the fact that he's calling it a time thing. That's just fantastic. Fantastic. Go on, Michael. With that lady and the guy in the machines, I think her name was Connor. Remember that? <laughs> the lady and the guy in the machines. Can you imagine him writing the blurb for this film? Um, I don't know if you've ever seen Terminator. i just seen clips of it. Yeah, it's rated R. Of course, Brandon hasn't seen it. That's a no-go. Time for another sloppy taco and sausage buffet, fellas. 
Uh, Madison Cawthorn lost his primary, but I'm not going to shut him out. I'm going to tie a mop to his chair, and we'll just let him scoot around the party and mop up stray fluids. But he is not allowed to partake in the festivities. If you see him clutching any meat, you swat it out of his hand, okay? We understand. Can I get a bump? You can touch my wife all you want. In fact, I encourage it. You can even call her a dog. But nobody touches the remote control. Tonight's backdrop is the Battle of Alberta. Guys, if the Oilers win, gas prices go down, right? We're all in for the Oilers to own the libs then, right guys? Right? <laughs> now I was born in Calgary, so it is my duty to cheer for the Flames. Since Dr. Oz is coming, I think we should go with a theme tonight, and that theme is Turkish prison, so... Let's have a good time, everyone, with that. Can I get a bump? Well, I'm going to tell everybody anyway. So in that movie, it got to be where machines and computers took over in robots and artificial intelligence, all this stuff, took over in robots and took over in robots. And I have never, ever heard anyone say robots like robots. <laughs> like it's... Does he think it's two words? What's going on? Is, is there a hyphen there we don't know about, Mike? In the movie, they had stopped it, but then the machines through time sent people back, or sent a machine back, the Terminator, to kill the people that were the, that were the ones that said, hey, we can't, we have to get rid of the machines. We have to stop the machines, okay? They weren't trying to stop all machines, Mike. They were trying to stop Skynet, okay? And it was a movie. It's not real life. It's a film. It's fiction. Crack paranoia. <laughs> Gotta be. Now, now, did they succeed? No, there, there, of course, there was a trilogy, blah, blah, blah. But I'm telling you where we're at, people, in this world, right now, at this time in history. I think this is a good time to mention I made these Let's Go Darwin mugs, and they've got my MAGA Tears logo on the other side. If you want to support the show, I have these, some other mugs and fun stickers, or you can now tip me with this PayPal QR code or the link in the description. Either way, thank you for watching. Back to the show. Low Rent Booze Burp tweeted, Banning concealed carry for law-abiding citizens isn't going to make Denver more safe. Criminals don't follow the law. Naturally, I replied, it's beyond parody when the drunk feral squirrel sharing multiple arrests with her ankle monitor husband, including assault, flashing minors, and shockingly negligent food handling, wants to talk safety. If Laura wants to keep people safe, she should resign and stay home. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is a satanic portal above the White House. You can see it day and night. It exists it is real, and it must be closed, and it will be closed by prayer. <clears throat> you can see it on the live stream of the video pointed at the White House. No, it is not an aerostat weather balloon. No, it is not infracted light. No, it is not a reflection. It popped up after Joe Biden became president, and it will be closed before he leaves. The only time there's a satanic portal in the White House is when Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lauren Boebert visit and take their pants off. Guys, I've been trying to, I've been wanting to reach out. If, uh, if Elon Musk, if you're watching, I want to reach out to Elon Musk, Brandon. And, and not for any other reason other than he's got a big, a big um, um, presence out there right now. They're, you know, he's, you know, he's all over the news, right? And they, and it's funny how Elon saying he was going to vote Republican made all the crazies think he was just going to suddenly back them. Well, my thing is, uh, I'd like to sit down with Elon myself one on one and show him in a 15 minute little presentation. I have to say, here's where we're at. This is what they did. Here's the, here is this, you get, you flew to the moon or whatever, flew to outer space. Uh, Here's the cyber stuff. Imagine a one-on-one -on -one with the guy who founded the company that figured out how to reuse rockets and transport astronauts to the ISS and the guy who chopped up a bunch of foam and put it in a sack. Remember, internet and, um, goes across, uh, satellite goes uh, 
across water. The same people who deny climate change are against green energy and spread misinformation about electric vehicles and Tesla are suddenly thinking he's on their team. Give me a break. If anybody out there that works with for Elon Musk, um, all I'm asking is, um, um, you know, I just want to uh, have, you know, 50 minutes, even if it's a phone call, whatever. And um, it's been a wild week with Marjorie. Again, good dude. But she's definitely agitated about people thinking she's crazy and dumb. <laughs> okay, I just want to clear things up. Marjorie is not dumb. She is super smart. We have limited plumbing in my Patriot bunker. And she figured out the litter box in five days. We play a lot of games together. Uh, she is so incredible at Connect 3. We may even work up to Connect 4 pretty soon. Uh, she really wants us to get going on tic-tac-toe, but I don't need Manglefoot mentioning toes at all, ever, no. She's all over the snakes and ladders, too. She's really into that. Actually, the only game she struggles at is Twister because she can't get the right amount of grip. And, and why is that, Marjorie? The socks stay on. Yeah, the socks stay on. Hers do, mine do not, so I get into good positions, but she can't get any, like, decent footing with those mashed up things below her ankles, which means usually we end up on the mat, and I end up going to town on her satanic portal, just ruining that satanic portal. <laughs> and you never want to let your people down. So when you go to bed at night and put your head on that soft pillow, you know Oz will be doing exactly what you'd want him to do if you were there next to him. I love how he goes with soft pillow, so we know he's not talking about lumpy dumpster fire my pillows. And that is the creepiest way to get voters ever. The thing is, the only reason we even know about Dr. Oz is because of Oprah Winfrey. I mean, for all the good she's done, she gave us Dr. Phil and Dr. Oz. That's not a great legacy. Tom Selleck's slow cousin believes films are evidence, but he also thinks Roco is a streaming device and his co-host is the ever Jenny Bunny. So it's not like he's really seeing anything that clearly. A lot of time you're on, you're, you're like the ever Jenny Bunny. I mean, you're on like, you're, you're like the ever Jenny Bunny. I mean, you're on like, I, I turned you on and it's a, it's a three in the morning. There's Brad. <laughs> he's like, a, he's like a little ever Jenny Bunny that just won't stop. He just keeps going out there and get the word out, but. Nobody ever corrects him because they're either just as dumb or they're after his money or both. I'm sure you've seen this clip by now, but I don't think it can be seen enough. In contrast, Russian elections are rigged. Political opponents are imprisoned or otherwise eliminated from participating in the electoral process. The result is an absence of checks and balances in Russia and the decision of one man to launch a wholly unjustified and brutal invasion of Iraq. I mean, of Ukraine. <laughs> Iraq, too. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> 75. Uh, <laughs> nice to see George Bush speaking the truth. If you haven't seen it, I was in a very good Iraq war movie that was critical of the invasion called Green Zone. And at the time... The world was not ready for it, and they were protesting the release of the movie. Check it out. Don Jr. is a hunter, and you shop at the Costco. Mega tears. What about what Biden says every time he speaks? Make fun of that $5 a gallon gas. This administration owns all of that. Everyone sees it. Food's gone off shelves. Mega tears. Madison is off limits. Cool it, boy. Mega tears. This hairless goof isn't even mindly funny. Mega tears. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and tell a friend. If you can afford to, please throw me a tip with the easy PayPal link below, or check out my mugs and stickers that go great with those mega tears. I am a stand-up comedian. I've played in 35 countries. I've done several arena and theater tours with Jim Jeffries, and I have three albums. You can stream them wherever you like. Thanks for watching. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.